This recording will show you how to find the angles between two planes. We are given two planes x minus y plus 3z equal to 1 and x plus 2y minus z equal to 3. First, we find the normal vectors of these two planes. Then, find the acute angle between the two planes. To recall, this is what Howard Anton Chapter 12, Section 6.1 theorem says that if you have equation of plane given by ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0, then the normal to the plane is n equal to abc. In terms of diagram, you can see that I have a plane. Equation of plane is ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0. And then the normal to the plane, which is perpendicular to the plane, is vector abc where this A, B, C are related in the sense that N, C. So now, from the first plane, the equation is x minus y plus 3z equal to 1. So we can rewrite them as 1x minus 1y plus 3z minus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, the normal n1 to the first plane is 1, minus 1, 3. On the other hand, given the second plane, x plus 2y minus z equal to 3, then we can rewrite them as 1x plus 2y plus minus 1z minus 3 equal to 0. So the normal n2 to the second plane is 1, 2, minus 1. Now, how do we find the angle between two planes? Let's say the angle between two planes is theta here. Now, this angle between two planes is also the angle between the two normals n1 and n2. But n1 and n2 are perpendicular to the planes. How to find the angle between n1 and n2? We can use the dot product between two vectors. We call that the dot product between A and B, say A dot B, is equal to the length of A, the length of B, cosine theta. So cosine theta is equal to A dot B over the length of A and length of B. Make use of that. So N1 dot N2 will be the length of N1 times the length of N2 times cosine theta where theta is anchor between N1 and N2, which is also the anchor between the two planes. Now, what is N1 dot N2 now? N1 is 1 minus 1, 3. N2 is 1, 2 minus 1. So when you do a dot product, 1 with 1 multiply, minus 1 and 2 multiply, and 3 and minus 1 multiply. Now add together, this N1 dot N2 is minus 4. Then we find the length of N1, which is square root of 1 square plus minus 1 square plus 3 square we find that that is equal to square root of 11 and the length of n2 is 1 square plus 2 square plus minus 1 square which is equal to square root of 6 then using the equation again n1 dot n2 is equal to length of n1 to length of n2 cosine theta we find that n1 dot n2 is equal to minus 4 length of n1 is square root 11, length of n2 is square root of 6 times cosine theta. So we find cosine theta is minus 4 over square root of 66, and we find that theta in this case 119.5 degree. Now this angle is more than 90 degree, so we take the smaller angle, the acute angle, between two planes is 180 minus 119.5 degree, which is 60.5 degree.